This video is going to describe how to use our IntelliTrend currency meter. What's amazing about this tool is that we statistically compare every currency versus every other one. For example, the top two you see here are the dollar and the yen. These are the two main pairs that most people trade the other currencies against. We statistically compare on multiple time frames using multiple statistical methods the dollar yen, dollar CAD, dollar Swiss, euro dollar, pound dollar, Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar, and we see how strong the dollar is or how weak it is. If the dollar is getting stronger versus every other pair, you can see that on your chart where it's super green and it's above the 80 dotted white line. Underneath the real time strength or weakness, we see the weekly monthly trend. What we recommend traders do is buy the strongest pairs versus the weakest ones and sell the weakest ones versus the strongest ones. It's that simple. Today, the euro dollar was one of the weakest pairs around five. It also had a weekly and a monthly trend that was extremely weak, weaker than the Australian and the New Zealand. And the dollar was stronger than the yen, although the yen had a lot of real time strength at that point. The monthly trend of the yen is down. The weekly trend is just barely up. So clearly, the odds favored selling the euro dollar, selling the Australian dollar, and selling the New Zealand dollar from 435 onwards. So here's the euro dollar chart. Forgetting the 1, 2, 3 pattern here at the high, the daily, weekly, monthly trend was down. We sold off here and then went up with almost no strength compared to the weakness here. That's a great trade when it breaks hourly. It's an extremely good trade. But even if you saw this a little bit late, 5 to 5.30, down here near the previous week's low and our FIB level support level. You sell the breakdown here and you can see the market continue. This is a trend explosion trade in and of itself. And you have a nice little counter trend here, trade here to short. And you might have gone short here with a small loss or break even. Gone short here again. Notice there's no strength whatsoever. And the biggest move happened at the end. It fell about 75 pips. Let's look at the Australian dollar. This one also has a 1, 2, 3 reversal pattern with a retest of the monthly pivot level here. And the weekly trend's very weak. The monthly trend's just slightly up. And it goes short. And you can see right here at 5 o'clock, extreme weakness. You might have made a little bit of money or you might have broke even or lost here. You went short here. You may have got out of this sideways to our range with a small profit. And then when you shorted the breakdown again, the market fell about 40 more pips. The New Zealand dollar was even weaker. Notice how our Fibonacci profit target level was the high of the day and our other Fib level was the low of the day. We also have a 1, 2, 3 pattern here where the market went up and it didn't even have a little bit of green here as it went up, it had red. This is an extremely high probability place to go short and even if you miss this first trade when it went sideways here at the previous week's low right here, right underneath the hourly, major resistance above it, extreme weakness here. You go short once it breaks down underneath the lows of the sideways to our range. This is a rectangle pattern as well and the market falls another 50 pips. Now I put up the Swiss and the CAD which you can also see both had a weekly and monthly trend that was up. The CAD was the stronger of the two. However today around 5 o'clock the Swiss was stronger than the CAD and it had a weekly and monthly trend that was up too just not as intensely. So you could have also sold the Euro Swiss, you could have also sold the Australian Swiss, and you could have also sold the New Zealand Swiss. You could have also sold the Euro CAD, you could have sold the Australian CAD, and you could have sold the New Zealand CAD. Let's take a look at these charts. Here's the Euro Swiss. Notice how it breaks down underneath the previous month's low and super weak. You have a little sideways consolidation area right here near the low after extreme weakness. Could have got short there, it fell almost 50 pips. You might have gotten short here and either had a break even or got out during the sideways range at the bottom. And then again, the extremely weak and the weakest of all the currencies, the Euro, continued its downtrend. And the Swiss was also one of the stronger pairs and you can see this trend pretty much continued most of the day. Here's the Australian Swiss. After five o'clock notice, every up move, if you sold, you made money. And this trend also continued right to our trading zone projected low. New Zealand Swiss, same thing. Broke the hourly right here, it was extremely weak. You have a little pullback here you could have gone short or you could have sold the lows here when it broke down and the trend continued for many hours. Let's look at the Euro CAD. 
same exact thing. The CAD was also very strong. The euro is the weakest one. Extreme weakness right here. You go short. Or if you saw the breakdown underneath the 200 day moving average and the hourly moving average, aggressive traders would have gone short even earlier. Notice our IntelliTrend bars went red about 15 minutes even before this breakdown. Breakdowns that happen when the color of their candles are already in that direction of that trade uh, are much higher probability. And this market fell 50, 100, 150 pips. Anytime you have extreme weakness, those trends are very likely to continue. You can get short after sideways consolidations or what I prefer is a little pullback trade. And once it breaks down again and or the IntelliTrend bars go red, you go short again. And notice another 30 or 40 pip move down here. That's how you use our IntelliTrend currency meter. You want to buy the strongest pairs. Today the dollar was the strongest and the weekly monthly trend confirmed that. And the weakest one was the euro dollar. The weekly monthly trend confirmed that. Many times when the 80 extreme level where the dotted white line S gets hit, usually that trend continues, especially if it's in the direction of the weekly and monthly trend.